Hi everybody, it's Linda. Today I went, I popped into the Class Act scrapbook store in Oshawa. I also picked up, um, I went to Michael's uh, Tuesday, uh, yesterday and today and I'll show you that at the end. Um, so at Class Act, I went there for a reason, but let me show you the other things I got. This is a like a green or teal background, but I love my snowflakes, so I picked up two sheets of this. This was $1.29 each. And then I bought this slider die. I thought this would be interesting. Okay. Um, it kind of shows you there. I think Tina Epp does made something like this on one of her recent videos. Tina, you, you use something like this, right? Well, anyway, I thought this looked interesting and it was, well, it was a lot of money, $28.99. <laughs> I decided to splurge because I was also getting something else that's pricey. Oh yeah, sorry. So this die cut, Stamperia. $7.99. These are like sewing. They call it romantic sewing or something. Um, sorry for the crinkling, but there's just like lots of little sewing symbol in here. And so it has that vintage look. So I like that. And I showed you the slider. I finally got myself, look, Wink Estella. Whenever you Google that in Michaels, they have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, but yet they would used to sell this. Idiots. Anyway, I finally found one because I've never seen them anywhere. 1019, and this says clear. It says clear in the description there. I didn't want a colored one. I wanted one that would highlight what I'm coloring. I think that's what you do, right? <laughs> that's the other thing. I'm not sure what to do. That was 1019. This was 359. This is a small embossing folder. It's for Christmas. It's the deer and it has hearts. I know it has hearts and that doesn't seem very Christmassy, but but it just has a Christmas look about it. And it's called History of Christmas, Amy Design. So anyway, this I can even use in my sidekick. You know, just run something through fast. But whatever, I like that. Oh, and this, $5.99. I bought this because it's a glue bottle holder. So you just, when I'm actually working, I, I can like, this thing that I made that I showed you in my previous picture, this glue bottle lives there, but the problem is, you know, when you put it back, you have to tip it over, wait for the glue to come. Like, it was getting irksome. Like, when I'm busy, it's not really that long of a wait, but this way, once I start working, I can toss it there and just let it do its thing. If it makes a mess, well, I have paper underneath, so um, that way it's already ready to go. But when I'm not working, I can clean it up and put it back in its little tray over there. So I was very pleased with that. The website said they didn't have any left, but they actually had a lot. So glue bottle holder, I think they call it. And the main thing I went to get was um, this Tim Holtz set of hexagon dies. Because I want to make, you get five sets like this. Okay, it's 25 pieces. Um, so that way you can, it's for, you can do whatever you want with it, right? But um, you can make designs and make windows and cards and you can print out a bunch of these and use those in your projects. I bought it. The biggest size measures each side is one inch. The smallest size each side is half an inch. Um, I bought it so that I can make hexes so I can print out, I can, sorry, cut out, punch out a lot of um, like cereal box cardboard, that kind of cardboard. I need a whole whack of those, and then I can make hexes in the quilting world. That's what they're called. You know those quilts where they're all like hexagons all sewn together into like a design or flowers or just random? That's what I want to do because it's good practice for hand sewing. But you need to sew the fabric around a base, and the base is that flim not too flimsy cardboard. Okay, so anyway, I... Couldn't find the punch and the punch on Amazon. I didn't understand when they said two inches. I didn't understand if they meant this, the length was two inches or the point to point. Because in a one inch, in this one inch, point to point is two inches. But each side is one inch. So I wasn't sure what measurement you can't tell in the picture, right? Anyway, that's what I got at Class Act. And that was $22.99. So at Michael's, I used my discount. And I picked up a one and a half inch circle punch because I don't, I have a three quarter, one and a two. So I thought I should get one in between. I've been looking for a one and a quarter, but 
circle punch, but I've never seen it. They do exist, but it's not a popular size, so I don't think they sell them. Like, of course, in Canada. Okay, and I also bought in the clearance section for two bucks. No, yeah, two bucks. Another wax sealer. This is the letter F. Well, it's backwards, but that's the letter F. I have a girlfriend whose first initial is letter F, so I thought I, I can get that and fancy something up for her. Surprise. And um, I also treated myself to Victorian velvet. I thought a nice soft pale purple would be nice. Um, distress oxide. They don't have distress inks, only distress oxides. Some people, it matters to them. To me, it doesn't. No difference to me because I don't plan on getting my work wet, so it's all good. Um, but the day before I went to a different, um, Michael's and I found in the clearance section for $5, the number tokens. I think I might even already have these, but it doesn't hurt to have more. And I'm going to assume they're all in there. However, this, when I saw this, I saw this a couple weeks ago in the store and did I lose another one? Oh, no, it's there. There was only five. There's actually six. There's one that's kind of tucked under there. Because yesterday I went and I found this again with its... I think people actually stole these. But there is a chance they could have fallen out on their own. Because in one of the bins... Because it's, you know, their new clearance sections where they have those really kind of cheap and flimsy baskets. Like wicker, almost like wicker type baskets um, where they put all the different clearance items in. And I was... And I pulled up all the items and looked at the bottom and there was one of these. So I went wild and went through all the bins, or I tried to go through all the bins, pulling things up from the bottom to look, and I only found the one, the first one I saw. So then I grabbed the pack, I jammed it in, and then when I went to pay, I said, I know this is on clearance, but there's only six here. Is it possible that I might be able to get a further discount just because it's half? And the manager came over and said, yeah, give it to her for two fifty. dollars So I got six of these. I don't even know what they say. I didn't care. It was just because it's Tim Holtz, right? And it was on clearance. So that, I believe, is everything I got this week. I don't anticipate going back out, but who knows, right? Um, it's only Thursday, even though it feels like Friday. And I'll just be doing some crafting. And I do need to, the our front hall is a mess so I have to look after that and yeah um, I'll just be enjoying my long weekend now and then I'm back to work on Monday which is fine my co-worker who's looked after me has done a fantastic job um, I sign in just to clear you know junk emails and stuff and I had to go in today and I checked with her is it okay if I go in for 10 minutes because I had to do my banking so everything's fine it's all great uh, she'll let me know she'll probably send me an email and if I have any questions I'll give her a call Monday morning and that's it. Um, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.